do that at home. Don't do that. <laughs> that good at sticking to a nighttime routine but on the nights that I do stick with it this is usually how it goes I start by removing my makeup I use these wipes by number seven they're okay I would give them like six out of ten they're not my favorite but they get the job done and then I'm gonna wash my face I'm gonna get all of the gross makeup off of my face and just in general clean because I worked out today. I went to the gym after work, which I normally don't get to do, but it was nice that I did get to do that. I just washed my face with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Exfoliating Cleanser. It has hyaluronic acid in it, so it's really good at getting off my extra layer of dirt and like skin, but still hydrating my skin. And it's gentle enough to use every day, so I do use it almost every day. I put my serum on. I've been using Lift Illuminate by number seven. It's like my favorite uh, serum. I was using the Protect and Perfect serum for a little while because I got it in a gift set, but I got sent Lift Illuminate serum. It does like the same thing. My skin honestly kind of needs everything the Lift Illuminate serum does, so it's great. Super lightweight. You go in with it after you cleanse. I'll use this number seven protect and perfect eye cream um i swear i'm not sponsored by number seven <laughs> lol i am a beauty consultant at walgreens so i very luckily get sent products to test out and i've really been loving number seven not gonna lie so i do that and then i go in with the night cream by number seven the protect and perfect intense advanced night cream this keeps my skin so hydrated i love using this cream and i just dab it over my face put some on the back of my neck um but yeah that's basically my night routine it's super simple wash my face put a serum on put eye cream on and moisturize and so why i can't commit to it every night i don't know it's usually just the nights that i don't take a shower i struggle with sticking with it just because when I'm in the shower, I have this in the shower with me. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to wash my face. Because I always do when I shower. And then I get out and I'm like, oh, well, before I moisturize, might as well put on my serum and eye cream, you know. So right now it's about quarter after 11. I'm about to get ready for bed. I typically go to bed in between like 11 and midnight with the goal of getting up at 7 a.m. But lately I've been getting up at 8. So we're slowly working towards 7 a.m. But we are establishing a very good morning skincare routine and morning habits. do little target ones every now and then I figured I would share what I got I picked up a few books I am really into reading lately I used to love reading as a kid like reading was definitely one of my favorite things to do as I like progressed through high school and college and I got assigned readings and I didn't really get to pick what books I wanted to read in the summer I had summer reading assignments I kind of lost my love for reading it kind of evolved to loving to read blogs more but now that i'm graduated and i'm not going back to school anytime soon i have picked up reading again i figured i'd share 
a few books that I picked up at Target and then other books that are just on my reading list in general. Not all of these I got at Target. This book I'm currently reading as you guys saw in the video. Um, it's The Subtle Art of Not Giving a F by Mark Manson. It is a counterintuitive approach to living a good life and I really really love this book. I think it's great. I recommend it for anyone. If you're like a freshman in college and like around that age range, this is definitely a good book to read. I kind of wish I had more of the mindsets he talk about in this book during my college years. Uh, this one, it's a classic and I actually never got to read it in high school because when I was given the opportunity to read this, it was this book or another book, and I chose the other book. This one is The Alchemist. I've heard great things about this book, and my favorite YouTuber, Claudia Saluski, has just recently finished reading it, and she really liked it. I picked up a book by Gary V. I, I picked up his book called Twelve and a Half. In this book, he's basically talking about the 12 emotions that he says you need to be good in business. I found him first through YouTube, and then I've seen him across all platforms. I've been really wanting to read his books, so I picked up this one. Um, I got another Gary V book. This one is called Why Now is the Time to Crush It. This one I got more to inspire me for things like this, like my YouTube, my Instagram. Well, yes, I have a full-time job. I still love content creation and producing content. Obviously, I cannot do it to the degree I would enjoy because it's not my full-time job, um, but I do love creating content and making these kind of videos. I like that this book is about following your passions and how to make time for it. I got this book. It's called The Little Book of Common Sense Investing. I've been wanting to read this book because I've been wanting to get into investing more. Um, I'm doing like the most basic level of investing right now. So this book I definitely wanted to read so that way I know more of what I can invest in. I got the book called Atomic Habits. I'm sure you've heard of this. This is a huge book that keeps getting raved about. Um, I don't know how many of my influences that I really like and adore have read this book. They recommend it a ton. Definitely want to read it. It sounds interesting. Um, my One of my favorite fitness influences, uh, Alex Allen, I think her name is. I'll put her tag right here. Um, she talked about this book. She's read it. She actually did a book club and they talked about it in, the, in her book club. So I picked it up finally because I was like, you know what? It's worth the read, I bet. The last book on my reading list is this book by Tony Robbins. My boyfriend actually got me this. I've talked to my boyfriend about how I want to get into investing and just being better with money overall because I think it's an essential skill and I'm not gonna lie i'm not that good at it he got me this book called money master the game seven simple steps to financial freedom i'm excited to read this this one's a thick one i'm just excited to read this <laughs> out of all those books like i said currently i'm reading this one and this is such an easy read and i'm a slow reader but i am cruising through this book no problem yeah i'm about halfway through this book usually how i unwind from the day i will go downstairs get comfortable i'll usually watch a few youtube videos but then after i watch a few youtube and scroll on my phone i'll just get comfortable and read for a while so mm -hmm.